Research has shown that women with higher biomarkers of stress in their saliva are less likely to get pregnant than women with lower markers of stress in their saliva. There's three things to consider when we talk about fertility and yoga. The first is relaxation. If you breathe, you have a better chance to conceive. Research has shown that women with higher biomarkers of stress in their saliva are less likely to get pregnant than women with lower markers of stress in their saliva. When we feel stressed, when we're not breathing, we have shallow breath, this stimulates our fight or flight response or our sympathetic nervous system. This makes it tense for our body. It makes us unable to feel comfortable being intimate. So if we can learn how to breathe, how to relax, it's much easier to be intimate. Number two is building body awareness. When you practice yoga, you're encouraged often by the instructor to think about what your body's doing, how the poses and the breathing feels in your body. When you can be more intimate with yourself and understand your body better, it's a lot easier to understand and be intimate with someone else's body. We talk about in yoga, the drishti or the yogic focus. A big part of intimacy is eye contact, is building that connection between you and your partner. If we can learn to be comfortable in our body, it makes being intimate a lot easier. For the fellas out there, if you are you practice ashtanga or a very rigorous type of yoga for an hour or plus, you're going to help to build up your endurance as well, which is always a good thing. And last but not least, number three is letting it flow. Modern life encourages to encourages us to be still to not move to sit in a chair looking at a screen this is largely unavoidable the problem is we become so sedentary that we don't know how to let the body work in an optimal way blood flow is really important for having sex obviously and if we can go to a class and switch off from the 23 hours of our day that have encourages to be still and spend that one hour to keep moving, keep flowing with our breath, everything's going to work a lot better. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And thanks for listening to that talk on yoga and fertility. <music>